The meeting will now consider the motion on EU residence in Wandsworth. Can I ask Councillor Grimston to move and Councillor Hogg to second the motion in their names? Uh, move the motion. Um, second. There is an amendment to this motion that has been circulated. Can I ask Councillor... Uh, point of order, Mr Mayor. I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy to accept the amendment uh, and therefore I don't think we need to uh, uh, vote on it or have it formally proposed. Thank you very much indeed. Councillor Govindia. Uh, Councillor Govindia. Uh, Mr Mayor, I'll make a very brief contribution to this debate. Um, I actually thank Councillor Hogg and um, Councillor Grimston for giving us this opportunity to reflect for a short while on the issue facing many people of EU, or EU nationals who live in, in our borough. And I just wanted to share with the Council that um, as I go around a number of uh, construction sites in the borough, one thing is very, very obvious, that there are an awful lot of people there who are from European countries who have made this nation, this is the city their home, they have their families here, they speak perfectly good English, and they are making a huge contribution in delivering uh, a ma major, major infrastructure and engineering and construction projects in the, in, the, in the capital. And there are also many people who have come here specifically for the construction project and and uh, have every intention of going back when the, that uh, project is over. And generally, they have very little English. And in fact, one of the obvious things in, on the sites is that uh, the plethora of languages and alphabets that you see in, on, on signage. But you know, these people may change their mind. And then, frankly, you know, free men and women are entitled to change their mind. And of the latter category who made London their home, for all intents and purposes, they are Londoners like just like you and me. And I think, I think that um, if they are anxious about their futures, I mean, in a strictly legal sense, they perhaps are hugely protected by the various international treaties, whether it's the Vienna Treaty or whatever. But, but I think a human feeling is that if there is doubt, they will be anxious. And if they are anxious, then I, it's our job to see that, uh, whether we can ease that anxiety. I, who know about what it is to be anxious about one's uh, uh, place in, 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 in a land that you call your own, know perfectly well that we should reach out and, and, and give them some comfort that as far as we are concerned, we would want to wish the government uh, Godspeed in negotiating what they need to negotiate, but in the meantime, give them the same feeling of comfort that I think uh, they, they should be entitled to. Uh, therefore, I'm happy that uh, the motion is on the table and uh, I'm sure we would all want to support it. Thank you. Councillor Grimston. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. It's uh, been a mildly fractious meeting. It's been an extremely fractious year, I think, and I, I think it's nice in our final meeting of the year, uh, I think, to be able to be discussing something on which I, I, uh, my suspicion is that there is absolute uh, unanimity within this chamber. Uh, as we're all aware, we have somewhere of the order of 25,000 EU nationals registered uh, on our uh, electoral register in Wandsworth. My impression in wandering around uh, my ward, which I don't think is atypical, is that the actual number might be quite considerably uh, higher than that. Uh, and of course, uh, just uh, if I might uh, remind the Chamber of Council of India's words last uh, July, when he said to the EU residents in, in the borough, we value your contribution to our economy, to our institutions of learning, to our health service. We value you as part of our society. Extremely well chosen words, if I may say so, which I know were taken uh, very warmly by those EU residents within our uh, borough. And indeed, uh, the, the two uh, minority groups also were, uh, made similar uh, uh, statements at the, at the time. So I've no doubt at all that I'd be extremely surprised if there is any uh, single member in this chamber who doesn't share those sentiments which the leader uh, expressed uh, at that time so, so well. Nonetheless, it is the fact that we are now six months uh, on from that uh, process. And my impression is that the EU residents, in, in, in my ward anyway, have noticed some of the rhetoric which has been uh, floating around, not from members of this council, but from uh, wider uh, society. Uh, I think some of them have noticed that uh, their children's schools are now asking them for their nationality. We've discussed that in this chamber. It turns out it was nothing to do with Brexit. You can see why maybe uh, some residents might have felt that it, it was in the circumstances. Um, that uh, we have heard a proposal that was withdrawn, but it was made, that companies should be forced to state how many foreign workers they uh, employ. Uh, and maybe most caustically of all, 
residents in my ward have uh, noticed those words of Liam Fox when he described them as one of the main cards in our Brexit negotiations, their long-term future in this borough. Uh, what was that? <laughs> it was my phone. It was your phone, was it? <laughs> I may have been apologised to by a phone in the middle of a... <laughs> um, <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, and, and, and also, uh, uh, the words from the Prime Minister, I, I don't think uh, they were uh, intended in quite the way they came out, but the implication that uh, EU citizens working in our health service will be welcome here until we've managed to train uh, British people to do those, uh, those jobs. Uh, any one of those comments, of course, can be explained as, as not uh, perhaps carrying the uh, weight that it might appear on, on first uh, reading or first hearing. Uh, but when a collection of statements like that inevitably come together, I think we can feel that, that there must be a degree of, of nervousness uh, within, the, uh, within our EU residents uh, within the borough. Um, the amendment, which I was very happy to accept, it seems something about Brexit leads to uh, amendments being accepted cross-party, so I'm very happy to, uh, to, to join in with that. Um, that uh, it calls for our MPs to continue to bring their influence to bear on the government to give an unconditional assurance uh, to EU residents. Um, the one thing I would say, I noticed from the uh, answer to my question uh, uh, earlier, which we didn't reach, um, that the leader hasn't yet had a chance to raise that directly with our members of parliament. I would gently hope that he might uh, uh, take that opportunity at, at some point in the future, because I've not been aware of very uh, strong public statements from our members of uh, parliament, whether in government or not. Uh, about this particular issue because the reason why I'm very happy personally to accept the uh, amendment is that the word unconditional is preserved within it. Uh, my feeling is that we should as a council and uh, ideally with the support of our three members of parliament and I've no doubt at all that they feel exactly the same on this as we do uh, but with the very vocal support we should be saying that actually we will take the lead on this we're not going to wait to see what happens in the wider negotiations but whatever happens in those wider negotiations I absolutely respect those who have uh, relatives in Europe and we would hope that they would enjoy a reciprocal arrangement but nonetheless I think we, we, we uh, should be prepared to say that under no circumstances would we wish to see our EU residents uh, forcibly repatriated, those who, who haven't been here long enough for the, for the protections that the leader uh, mentioned. Uh, and therefore in that spirit, and in, in the spirit of the very uh, uh, positive words that the leader uh, made, with which I entirely agree, uh, I would hope that we will unanimously put this message out and state to our EU uh, residents that whatever the uncertainty might be going on nationally, this council is absolutely and solidly behind their uh, contribution, grateful for the contribution they make, and solidly behind their right to stay in here uh, and make their lives here if that's what they choose to do. Thank you. Given, given the debate, uh, is uh, the position ex agreed? Has the motion agreed? Given the debate? Thank you. As amended.